Ta-Nehisi Coates, Between the World and Me. Immerse yourself in the gripping narrative of Between the World and Me by Ta-Nehisi Coates, as he reflects on his life as a black man in America and the fears that continually affect him and the black community. Explore the powerful experiences and lessons that have shaped Coates, from understanding the realities of being black in America and confronting the American dream, to discovering the Mecca at Howard University. This book summary provides a compelling overview of a profound personal journey, shedding light on important themes such as police brutality, systemic racism, and the importance of re-education for achieving true equality and understanding. Fear and Injustice for Black Americans Born in 1975, author and journalist Ta-Nehisi Coates has grappled with the prevalent fears faced by black Americans. A chilling encounter during his youth remains etched in his memory, a stranger flaunting a gun before him, reinforcing the omnipresent threat of violence due to his race. His perspective further shifted after the unjust killing of his friend Prince Jones, a Howard University attendee who had overcome adversity to secure a promising future. Amidst the quest for peace, happiness, and personal success, the harsh reality confronted by Coates is that black Americans remain tragically vulnerable within a deeply prejudiced society. As a father, he now communicates these fears and challenges through his writing, tying these worries to the well-being around his son. Throughout his life, Ta-Nehisi Coates has grappled with the fears that many black Americans face daily. As an 11-year-old, Coates experienced a terrifying incident where a young stranger armed with a gun threatened him outside a local market. This moment solidified the realization that simply being black in the United States made him a perpetual target for unpredictable and random acts of violence. Years later, Coates met Prince Jones, a fellow student at Howard University who epitomized the American dream. Despite his mother's rise from poverty and investment in his education, Jones's bright future was brutally cut short by the hands of a dishonest police officer. This painful loss illuminated the unfortunate truth that even success, hard work, and adherence to societal norms could not shield black Americans from danger and injustice. These formative experiences prompted Coates to advocate for change and express his fears in the written form. With the birth of his son, his cause gained urgency. Coates now writes not only about his own concerns but delves into the broader concerns of the black community, particularly focusing on the fears he harbors for the safety and well-being of his son in a racially biased and tumultuous society. The Mecca, Unlocking Truths Early in life, Coates discovered that traditional education was insufficient in revealing the authentic realities faced by black people in America. Turning to alternative sources, he found inspiration and a deeper understanding through the writings and speeches of Malcolm X. This exposure to alternative perspectives on the civil rights movement helped Coates reshape his worldview. When he attended Howard University, Coates discovered the Mecca, an ethos and ideology that provided an elevated educational experience. Representing the essence of the university, the Mecca houses inspirational Howard alumni, such as Toni Morrison, Thurgood Marshall, and Stokely Carmichael, who have contributed to constructing a positive black identity in America. Through these experiences, Coates highlights the importance of exploring beyond conventional education in order to embrace a well-rounded perspective, especially for black individuals who have historically been denied access to educational opportunities. Bridging the Racial Divide a critical factor that sets apart white people and black people in the U.S. is the reality of embodying a black body, since black and white bodies are treated differently. The black population frequently experiences prejudices and racism, despite the country's racial progress. The discrimination is primarily visible in two forms, police brutality and disproportionate incarceration rates. The lack of community resources, poverty, and the prevalence of drugs in black communities contribute to this disparity, making the American experience significantly distinct depending on one's skin color. Anchored in the color of their skin, the experiences of black people and white people in America vastly differ. Many white individuals struggle to recognize or understand the unique challenges black people face daily. 
This stark reality includes the constant fear of racial profiling by the public and law enforcement, both of which often link blackness with criminality, an obstacle white people rarely, if ever, encounter. Racism against black people persists to this day, despite advancements in racial equality. Discrimination manifests itself most prominently in two ways. First, through police brutality, as seen in the tragic killings of unarmed black men and boys, including Eric Garner, Michael Brown, and 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Second, through the considerably disproportionate incarceration rates of black people. To understand these high incarceration rates, we must delve beyond statistical data and examine the underlying causes. Predominantly, the quality of life in black communities is marred by a scarcity of essential resources such as community centers and public programs. Furthermore, poverty and drug-related issues impact black communities more severely than white ones, often driving criminal behavior. Recognizing these disparities is vital in bridging the racial divide between black and white individuals and improving the lives of those affected by deeply entrenched racism in American society. The Unattainable American Dream The American Dream, often portrayed as a universal opportunity for success, is inherently unattainable for many due to its foundation in the historical and ongoing subjugation of black people. Racism continues to exist in various forms, despite significant events like the Emancipation Proclamation, the Civil Rights Movement, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In the United States, institutional racism perpetuates disparities in funding, resources, and the treatment of black people within the legal system, thereby impeding their access to the supposedly inclusive American dream. The core principle of the American dream, unfettered access to success for all, is marred by a historical reliance on the subjugation of black people. Slavery, once widespread across American colonies and sustained by many founding fathers, directly contributed to the foundation of American wealth. After the Civil War's conclusion in 1865, although slavery was abolished, racism persisted. The Jim Crow South emerged from a period of Southern Reconstruction, characterized by segregation, violent discrimination, and social inequality. Decades later, the civil rights movement heralded a national awakening, igniting essential steps towards racial equality. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 sought to eliminate discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. However, no single legislation could dismantle established systems of racism across institutions within the United States. Black people still face racial profiling by law enforcement, implicit associations with violence and criminality in media portrayals, and unjust treatment within the legal system. Furthermore, inadequate state and federal funding has prevented the creation and maintenance of safe, resource-abundant communities for generations of African Americans. Combined, these factors contribute to perpetuating cycles of crime. Rather than being accessible to everyone, the American dream is built upon a foundation of countless African-American nightmares, an inescapable truth that must not be ignored. Navigating Fear and Education Growing up in a poor black community, the author experienced two distinct systems of fear, the dangerous streets and a disconnected education system. The streets, filled with gang activity, instilled fear in the hearts of children, making them map out safe paths through the city. Ironically, even gang members are driven by fear, fear of the white world and white institutions. Meanwhile, the education system, designed for white children, dampened curiosity and failed to engage the interests of black students. For the author, discovering books by and about black individuals became a source of re-education and liberation from these oppressive systems. Adolescence was challenging for the author, who had to confront and navigate through two separate realms of fear, the treacherous streets of the city and the disconnected educational system. The streets were a constant source of dread, plagued by gangs controlling different areas. To survive, people devised strategies to traverse the city without running into these gang members. However, even these intimidating gang members were driven by fear, particularly of the white world and institutions such as the police, politicians, and those in control of resources. Their power displays were reactions to the oppressive forces that governed their lives. 
The education system, heavily influenced by white standards, disconnected black students from learning that resonated with their life experiences. This structure dulled curiosity and resulted in passive children, rather than fostering inquisitiveness and growth. The author particularly remembers the irrelevance of learning French, a language he would never use, in a city devoid of French speakers. A turning point for the author came in the form of authentic, powerful works, books by black authors, about black people and their lives in America. These literary treasures offered a much-needed re-education and liberation from the constricting shackles of the streets and the crippling education system. Struggle for a Better World In a world fraught with racial bias and violence, preparing children for the harsh realities they may face is a difficult task. The 2012 shooting of Trayvon Martin and the 2014 shooting of Michael Brown are two glaring examples of the daily injustices that black individuals, particularly young men, face in the United States. Despite progress in racial justice since the abolition of slavery, institutional racism lingers on. Navigating this harsh reality, parents must avoid offering false consolation and encourage their children to join the struggle for creating a better, more just world. Exposing the harsh truth of racial injustice, especially for black individuals, is challenging yet essential in today's society. Take the case of Trayvon Martin, an unarmed 17-year-old black boy shot by Neighborhood Watch volunteer, George Zimmerman, in 2012. Zimmerman thought Martin looked suspicious and called the police before engaging in an altercation that led to Trayvon's tragic death. Zimmerman was later acquitted of second-degree murder and manslaughter. Another heart-wrenching instance is the 2014 shooting of Michael Brown, an unarmed 18-year-old black boy who was killed by white police officer Darren Wilson. After his passing, Brown's reputation was besmirched, and his death seemingly justified, because he had previously stolen cigarillos from a convenience store. Consequently, his killer faced no charges. These high-profile cases represent the extreme cases of a recurring injustice in the United States, the unjust treatment and perception of black people as criminals. The critical question is whether things have changed for the better. Undeniably, racial justice has improved since slavery's abolition, however, institutional racism persists. For parents like Coates, who cannot shield their children from this ongoing strife, it is essential to avoid offering hollow comfort. Instead, children must be encouraged to be part of the struggle to create a fairer, more inclusive world where justice prevails over prejudice. Beyond the American Dream The American Dream, built upon the unequal treatment of black people, is inherently exclusionary and incompatible with an inclusive society. Its very nature, rooted in a white-centric worldview, prevents it from addressing the systemic racial injustices present in various institutions. Rather than trying to reform it or replace it with a black American dream, Society must dismantle the concept of the dream altogether to enable true equity and understanding of the diverse black experiences. The American dream has been constructed and maintained on the foundation of black oppression, beginning with the atrocities of slavery and extending into a racially biased system. This dream, inherently white in origin and ideology, fails to acknowledge the racial disparities embedded within institutions such as the education system, media, and law enforcement agencies. Black individuals striving to attain the American dream face unique challenges, as they must navigate a system that persistently views them through a lens of prejudice. Even if they achieve success, they are confined to white society's expectation of a successful black, rather than being recognized as diverse, unique individuals with their own stories. Author Ta-Nehisi Coates discovered this multifaceted nature of black lives during his time at Howard University, where he encountered a diverse array of black individuals from different cultural and religious backgrounds, reflecting the rich tapestry of experiences within the black community. Coates realized that attempting to counter the American dream with a singular, black American dream would be futile and inadequate, as it would not capture the complexity and variety of black realities. To pursue a truly inclusive society that understands and appreciates the diverse range of black experiences, we must abandon the very concept of the American dream. By breaking away from a structure that relies on extrinsic dreaming and myths, 
it is possible to embrace the unique aspirations and stories of the black community, working to create genuine equity in unity. As we delve into the key takeaways from Between the World and Me, we are confronted with the harsh reality of the black experience in America and its multifaceted struggles. From addressing the dangers on the streets and challenging the white-centric education system to combating entrenched institutional racism and the exclusionary American dream. In the face of these challenges, Coates advocates for a re-education centered on valuing black identity and embracing its diversity to create a more inclusive and equitable society. Through the experiences offered in this book summary, readers will gain powerful insights into understanding the necessity of dismantling long-standing societal structures and embracing a new perspective that strives for true equality.